Hey guys, it's Lopez, and today I'm reviewing S Boy by Soldier Boy. We're gonna start off with the box presentation. This is what it looks like. I really like the yellow and black pattern. And right underneath, you get some information down here. S Boy by Draco, aka Soldier Boy. And that's what the top looks like. And this fragrance opens up like this. Wah! So, this is the fragrance out of the box. This is going to be an EDP, Eau de Parfum. This is the 100 ml bottle, 3.4 fluid ounces. The price range for this fragrance is $250 on his website. And we're going to start off with the bottle presentation. You get a really nice yellow. It turns into black. I really like that. But it does not have any information down here. It actually has it on the box. And the cap, it has some sort of little rubber texture to it. The cap is pretty cheap. It weighs nothing. Um, I could probably break it with my hand. But who cares about the cap? It's about the juice. I'm going to show you guys how it sprays. It's medium. So the notes that I pick up for this fragrance are going to be sweet, fresh, tropical, peach, and fruity. The notes that are listed for this fragrance are lemon, peach, coconut, bergamot, rose, jasmine, iris, lavender, amber, sandalwood, musk, oak moss, caramel, vanilla, and tonka bean. This fragrance was released in 2022. When's the best time to wear it? I would say it's versatile. You can wear this at any time. It is sweet and fresh at the same time, and it does come in a one size bottle. This is the 100 ml bottle, 3.4 fluid ounces. That's the only size that they have available. Is this interview safe? I believe it is not. Can you blind buy this? Uh, I would say smell it before you buy it because it may come off as being too synthetic. So what's the duration on this fragrance? I was able to get 1.5 hours of projection, six hours on the skin and eight plus hours on the clothing. I would recommend doing 10 plus sprays to get eight plus hours. And this fragrance is a close contact fragrance. I did notice that it didn't really project as much unless I was moving around and sweating a little bit or it feels really hot. That's when it was projecting, I would catch whiffs. This fragrance right here is gonna be perfect for date night and close intimate contact. Do I recommend this fragrance? No. There is designer fragrances under $100 that would smack this upside the head. This fragrance right here, I like it a lot. I would purchase it. I would buy it. I really do like it. But the issue is the price. $250 for what you're getting here. I believe it's not worth it. But I have to give it credit. It is the best celebrity fragrance that I've ever smelled. For example, I have Usher. If you compare it to Usher, compare it to Ronaldo's uh, CR7, 50, Power by 50. I mean, if it's a celebrity fragrance and you compare this, this is so much better than those. The quality is, compared to these, the quality is in a different world. Would I repurchase this fragrance? This fragrance is not mine. This is one of my coworkers' fragrances. He wanted me to review it. He was kind of in the middle about it. So I figured I'd give it a review, check it out, wear it. This fragrance right here, I would not pay more than $120 for it. It does smell good, but it, I don't believe it's a, over $120. $250 is a big number. And this fragrance right here, for me, it is not worth it. Soldier Boy is a businessman, and I, I get that he would want to capitalize on his name. He's done a lot for the community. And there's nothing wrong with that. Capitalize on your name, make money. That's cool. But it's not worth $250. $250, there's a lot of competition out there in that price range that even designer fragrances would make this look bad. Once again, I did enjoy this fragrance a lot. I really like it. I do. It is a well put together fragrance, but I would not pay that price for it. So what does this fragrance smell like? To me, it reminded me of 1 million parfum. It didn't smell like it, but it had something in there that was very similar to it. 
And then the dry down was my favorite part. It would dry down and it would have a beautiful peachy smell to it. That peachy smell re reminded me a lot of Tom Ford's bitter peach. Right off the bat, that was the bitter peach. And I was able to smell the peach and it's really smooth. I like it. But this fragrance may be too synthetic for people. People like clean, fresh fragrances. This one right here is going to be in the category of Invictus, something sweet, bubblegummy. And it may be too synthetic. I personally, I, I love it. I love the fragrance. I just don't like the price. Do not blind this fragrance. If you're able to get a sample somewhere online, smell it before you buy it. If I was to rate this fragrance from a 1 to a 10, I would give this a 7.5. 7.5 because it performs well. It smells different. But the price range, I don't agree with. It is niche territory. Anything that's over 200 is niche territory. And in the niche fragrances, it's they are going to consist of heavy hitters. Anything that's 200 plus, they have to prove something when it comes to designer fragrances. They got to be better than the designer fragrances. And this right here, this falls, I would say, under designer fragrance, not niche. 250 is too much. Anyways, guys, until next time, this was a review of S-Boy by Draco, also known as Soldier Boy. Thank you.